Hello, in this presentation, we will talk about how to remove date and time stamps in reports such as the balance sheet within QuickBooks Pro 2018. If you've been following with us, we will be continuing with the Get Great Guitars problem. If not, that's okay. We will be talking about the formatting of reports such as the balance sheet. We currently, if you have the backup file, you can restore that by going to the file tab and company restore the backup as has been seen in a prior presentation. To have the open windows tab open, go to the view tab up top and open window list, giving us our open windows. I'm going to close everything at this point except for the home tab. Only thing open at this time is the home tab. In order to open up the home window, go to the company drop down and home page. This will be our starting point every time when we take a look at the QuickBooks products. We are now going to format a balance sheet. In a similar way, all reports can be formatted in that we can remove the date and time. Let's take a look at how to do that first by uh, making a balance sheet by going to the reports drop down up top, going to company and financial, scrolling down to the balance sheet. I'm going to change the date right here to 123121 and there's going to be our balance sheet as of December 31st, 2021. We're then going to go into the customized report and take a look at some of the options here. We're mainly concentrating on just removing the time and date stamp. I'm going to move this down a bit. What we're looking at is this item over here. Whenever we print the report, it's going to have the uh, balance sheet. It's going to give us the date over here. We want this date as of December 31st. We may not want to have the timestamp here and the date here, which is automatically generated. Nice to have, but may not want it all the time. In order to remove it, we're going to go to the header and the footer tab, and we want to look through these options here. Here's the uh, subtitle date, and here's the date prepared. So we're going to remove the date prepared the time prepared and the report basis. And that should be these three items right here. When we then select OK, we should uh, those should be removed. So we're going to say OK. And we have now removed those three items.